Good evening. This is Akashwani Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. Nagaland State Commissioner for Persons with Disabilities directs making government buildings barrier-free and universally accessible. Nagaland Governor felicitates NCC band gadgets from Nagaland who took part in the Republic Day Barrett 2024. Workshop come orientation on PM Vishwa Karma for field officials and staff held in Woka. And Kello India University Games, Ashta Lakshmi wrestling event begins in Kohima. Now the news in detail. Nagaland State Commissioner for Persons with Disabilities, SCPT, has directed the Home Department and the Deputy Resident Commissioners, DRCs, of all the Nagaland State Guest Houses located in various states to carry out necessary renovations and retrofittings required to make the buildings barrier-free and universally accessible as mandated under the Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act 2016. In an order, State Commissioner for Persons with Disabilities, the Tono Nakro, said that the SCPD, quote, has issued an order with a number of recommendations to be complied with within three months. She said recommendations are issued not only to the Nagalan State Guest House at Argepuram, Delhi, but also to the other state guest houses in existence in other states. The state respondents have been given three months' time to comply with the recommendations and submit an action-taken report to the SCPT court. The felicitation ceremony of the NCC band gadgets from Nagaland, who took part in the Republic Day Parade 2024, was held with the Governor La Ganesan, a special guest at Dr. Imkong Lipa Ao Hall, Rajpawan today. It was organised by the Department of Youth Resources and Sports and NCCGP, Kohima. Speaking on the occasion, the Governor expressed his happiness seeing the captivating show given by the NCC Girls Band during the function. Congratulating the 31 gadgets from Nagaland, he said that it is the dream of every NCC gadget to be a part of this event and that they are among the few who have realised this ambition. He loaded the Nagaland government, the Department of Youth Resources and Sports and the Northeast Region Directorate of the NCC for their role and support in grooming the young gadgets. The governor reminded that it takes sheer determination and resilience to represent an ed platform as grand and as prestigious as the Republic Day Barrett in New Delhi. Chief Minister Nipirio said that it is a moment of joy to see the NCC gadgets of Nagaland creating history by being a part of the first ever NCC Girls Brass Band who had marched on Kardavya Bath during the Republic Day. He said that the NCC has been playing a pivotal role in moulding and shaping our youth to become responsible citizens of the nation. He also said that it was also a joyous moment for the state to witness a Naga girl, Ruyanguno Kense, leading the Delhi police during the Republic Day Barrett. The governor also handed out a certificate of appreciation to all the cadets. A workshop come orientation program on PM Vishwa Garma for field officials and staff was held at Deputy Commissioner's Conference Hall, Woka, today. General Manager, District Industry Centre Woka, Mingtungo Gigon, while highlighting on the aims and objectives of the scheme, said this is a central sector scheme launched by the Government of India to provide end-to-end support to artisans and craftspeople who work with their hands and are either self-employed or intend to set up their own small-scale ventures. He asserted that the scheme aims to uplift the lives of artisans and craftsmen by providing them with recognition, skill upgradation, toolkit incentives, graded support, incentives for digital transactions and marketing support. He further informed the trainees that the enrolment of beneficiaries shall be done by seeking application through the Common Service Centre by providing the necessary documents such as Atar card, mobile number, bank details and ration card. Currently, 272 applicants have enrolled with 188 from urban areas and 84 from rural areas. This news comes to you from Akashwani Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AIR News Kohima.
Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that in the next five years, the country will become model of development. This is the Modi guarantee. Addressing price distribution ceremony of Sansad, Sans- Sanskrit, Prati Yukita at Banaras Hindu University today, Modi said Kashi is now being seen as a model of heritage and development. Prime Minister said the echo of India's rich heritage is being heard all over the world. Prime Minister said Kashi is not just a centre of faith, but it is a vibrant centre of India's eternal consciousness. He said that India's ancient prestige in the world was not based on economic prowess only, but also its cultural, spiritual and social richness. Indian Council of Agricultural Research, ICAR, Krishi Vigyan Kentra gave E.K. Longling yesterday conducted its 11th Scientific Advisory Committee meeting at KVK Training Hall. Speaking on the occasion, Longling Deputy Commissioner Taram Raj challenged the scientist to find an alternative to chum cultivation by cultivating high-value medicinal crops as the land of the district is fertile and unpolluted. He encouraged the allied departments to work in convergence with KVK for better output of the farmers in the district and assured full cooperation from administrative side in implementing any project. The meeting was attended by scientists and heads of departments of agri and allied departments where issues of the farming community was deliberated at length and the action to be taken up in order to mitigate the problem. Consumers can now obtain separate electricity connections for charging their electric vehicles. According to the amended electricity rights of consumers rule, time period for obtaining a new electricity connection has also been reduced. Under the new rule, time limit has been reduced from 7 days to 3 days in metropolitan areas, from 15 days to 7 days in other municipal areas and from 30 days to 15 days in rural areas. The Power Ministry said in cases where consumers raise complaints about meter reading not aligning with their actual electricity consumption, the distribution licensee is now required to install an additional meter within five days from the date of receipt of the complaint. Union Power and New and Renewable Energy Minister Arga Singh said the amended rules will empower consumers and reduce the timeline for getting new electricity connections. He said new rules will simplify the process of setting up rooftop solar installations. And in sports, Kello India University Games, KRUG 2023, Ashta Lakshmi Wrestling kicked off today at Indira Gandhi Stadium, Kohima, with Chief Minister of Nagaland, Nipirio, grazing the commencement program as special guest and declaring it open. The KRUG Ashta Lakshmi Wrestling hosted by Nagaland, is being organised by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports. Over 240 athletes are taking part in the Games. Rio welcoming the athletes and officials to the, to the state viewed that the purpose of Kello India University Games is to create a strong interlinked system of education and sports, second, to promote university-level sports, and make it a breeding ground for champions and finally to give a boost to sports infrastructure and strengthen the sports ecosystem in the universities. Rio hoped that holding of the KRUG wrestling in the state will be a step towards promotion of the freestyle and Greco-Roman styles of wrestling besides the Naga-style wrestling in the state. Advisor for Youth Resources and Sports, S. Kyushu Yimkyong, delivered the welcome address. And now to end the news, here are the headlines again. Nagaland State Commissioner for Persons with Disabilities directs making government buildings barrier-free and universally accessible. Nagaland Governor felicitates NCC band gadgets from Nagaland who took part in the Republic Day Barrett 2024. Workshop come orientation on PM Vishwakarma for field officials and staff held in Woka. And Kello India University Games Ashta Lakshmi wrestling event begins in Kohima. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.